Letter number one. Dear Dave, do you think that the NBA is a conspiracy like everyone else? Uh, Brian Spaulding, Mount Vernon, Indiana. You know, uh, it's a bad time for me because of the Pacers. And, uh, you know, I just want to say one thing. They, they put up a heck of a fight, and the series <clears throat> is not over. I mean, they're, the last uh, report, they were down 3-1. to one. They played earlier tonight. It, it could be over now. I, I hope it's not over. I don't know. The, the Lakers, they were frightened by the Lakers. They, they don't like going to California uh, because, Paul, when they play in California, what happens? They're dazzled by the courtside beauty of Miss Diane Cannon. That's right. <laughs> they, can't, they can't be expected to play. No, you can't play under those circumstances. I just, I just want to take a second here. God bless the Indiana Pacers. Good luck. I think those Lakers, they don't play fair. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. Oh, well, that's <laughs> against the rules. And one of those guys is enormous. <laughs> one. So that ain't fair. We're no. just a bunch of farm kids. Yeah. Uh, but, boy, they gave it a pretty good ride, and I was excited there for a while. And, may and maybe, who knows, maybe they'll win three in a row. <laughs> yeah! uh, anyway, the letter, uh, do you think there's a conspiracy in the... Uh, uh, no, I don't. Uh, but, you know, I, I went out to, and I spent my own money on this, flew out for the first game to California and Los Angeles. Did you see me? I, I know. Were you out there? Yeah, the first game, really? game one of the series, I flew out and sat courtside. You didn't see You it? were courtside? The I was watching. Take a look. Here at the Staples Center. There's Jack Nicholson, a huge Laker fan. And, of course, there's actress Diane Cannon, who's at every L.A. game. On, and here's the on, only on. Indiana Pacer fan in the arena, David Letterman. And there are some Laker fans looking after Mr. Letterman's car. Is that a car? Is that a real car? What are you, now what are you doing? I'm talking to you. You get on the phone. What is going well, on she's trying here? to find out if it's a real car. Well, I know it's a real <laughs> car, but I mean, did we have to buy a car to beat it up like that? Probably. Well, that's a terrible waste. <laughs> well, now, will the car be repaired and, yes. and auctioned off to some lucky audience member? <laughs> what? Have you noticed... Every time, every time there's trouble, she jumps on the phone. It's on the phone, yeah. 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 How do you think that makes me feel? Yeah, like a loser. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah, there she goes. Have you ever been to a party where people keep jumping on the phone? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, letter number two. Uh, dear Dave, do you plan to run with the Bulls in Pamplona this summer? Well, uh, Danielle Garcia, uh, Bilbao, Spain. I would love to, and uh, normally I do, but uh, you may have read about this. I had my passport lifted, so I can't go. Uh, <laughs> but the folks here in New York, uh, to drum up tourism for the city, they got something uh, to, uh, just to compete with the running of the Bulls in Pamplona. Here, watch this videotape and enjoy. That might catch on. That was an actual stuntman, by the way. It was. I was going to ask. That was, that was not a dummy or a mannequin. That was a regular guy. Real guy. They know how to fall. Wow. <laughs> so they don't get. <laughs> so they don't get hurt. They I know see. How to take yeah. a fall like uh -huh. that, so they don't get hurt. Right. Oh, they're pros. Sure. Uh, letter number three. Dear Dave, does your mom ever come visit you in New York City? Just curious. Ryan Davis, uh, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. Uh, no. Uh, mom don't come to town, and it's a shame. Uh, I invite her every weekend. You know that. Of course. Uh, and I tried to get her on the phone, and I said, Mom, uh, you come to New York City, but she's not, I don't think she's going to show up. And, yeah. uh, frankly, between you and me, it's a bit of a disappointment, because I would Dave, like to Dave. have her here every weekend. Excuse but, me, Dave. Oh, yes, Alan, Dave. I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry. She will be there. Okay, whatever you say, Alan. <laughs> David, give your big mama a kiss. Uh, Alan, I don't think I really want to be a part of this. <clears throat> Thanks, Alan. I guess. That's 
Uh, letter number four. Dear Dave, will the Late Show be doing anything to help those voted off the island recover from their trauma? Dave uh, Scullerman, Scullerman, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. He's talking about the uh, blockbuster uh, CBS show Survivor, where they have these uh, folks uh, on an island and they all <clears throat> are sick and I don't know. <laughs> they got sick. They, all, like they all, all got a really bad case of the flu. Right. And it's just, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but the first, as a matter of fact, we have with us tonight the very first guy to get voted uh, off the island. No kidding. Yeah. Where is he? Ladies and gentlemen, Gerard Mulligan. Where, there he is. Right there. Hi, Gerard. Aloha, Dave. You know, we watched your show every night back on the island. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. You'd be the only one. Now, listen. Uh, it must have been pretty upsetting to get uh, voted out. I mean, after the first uh, week, you're just gone. Your fellow Islanders, they vote you right out. Yeah, it was one hell of a shock. Yeah. But I'm not bitter. Oh, good. I have a lot of wonderful memories of my week on that island. Well, what a, what a lovely attitude. Yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember. When I used to play Yeah, it was yeah. a great week. Yeah. Now, uh, how, how does it look uh, for the rest of the season there on the island? You know that annoying host guy? Oh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Peter Probst? Uh, or something Probst. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. What's they're going to they're murder him, devour his little flesh on live TV. Oh, yeah. great. Let's go. Yeah. That. Yeah. He's going to win an Emmy. I've got to win an well. Emmy. Yeah. Gerard Mulligan. Good to have you home, Gerard.